A full-fledged photo editing app for the iPad? Sign me up! This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash appjudgment. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for the best app news and reviews. My name is Stephanie, and I love taking photos. I'm a big fan of photo-enhancing apps on my iPhone, but let's face it, the screen is so small that you can't get very far. Enter Photogene for the iPad. With this larger screen, you can check out the little details in your photos and do more when it comes to retouching. We're totally aware that the iPad doesn't have a camera yet, but you can totally still access your images from your photo library. When you launch Photogene, you'll see all the images in your iPad organized by albums, events, or faces. Choose an image to start a retouching project and you'll see options for cropping, rotating, general visual adjustments, retouching tools, adding text bubbles, and border enhancements. If you're into photo filters, you'll also be pleased with Photogene's plethora of preset filters. I usually cringe at filters that are useless based on novelty, but this app has many filters that look natural and work gracefully, complete with a thumbnail preview before you choose. Photogene has packed in features that I haven't seen before in photo editing apps. For example, you can use a healing and cloning tool to remove unwanted objects and blur in selected areas, and even reduce the red eye effect. And no one can accuse Photogene of not being thorough with their general adjustments. You not only get to correct your color, but you can also use the sliders to fix sharpness, apply changes to the histogram to bring balance, and even tweak the curves. So now that you've edited your photo just the way you like, it's time to show that baby off. If you're into metadata, you can check out all the information on what's going on behind the scenes of your image and you can add author information as well as a caption. Then export to your photo library, social networks, email, wireless printer, or FTP. But the best part is that if you're a Dropbox user, you can send your images straight to your account. That way, your edited images are sitting right at your desktop. Sounds like a great deal, but like every app, there's the good and the bad. I'll give you the whole story after we hear from our sponsor. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75,000 titles to choose from. You can download them to your iPod or your MP3 player, and you can play them back anywhere, anytime. You can choose books in every genre. They got science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, everything. Everything. I took in a really, really good book recently. Oh, yeah? Freedom by Jonathan Franzen. It's amazing. Uh, it was very long awaited, a lot of years in the making. It was completely worth it. The, the ending was awesome. Cool. Just go download it. Yeah, I've been hearing about that one everywhere. You can grab that one for free. Just go to audiblepodcast.com slash app judgment and you can get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, audiblepodcast.com slash app judgment for your free audiobook. Check it out. Welcome back. Now, here's the whole story. If you use the iPhone version of Photogene like I do, you're probably familiar with lots of the tools. But the iPad version offers so much more, and there is a slight learning curve since the UI is so different. I did expect to see some features that kick ass in other apps like layers. Painting on the image in a separate layer would be rad. What Photogene has so far performs really well, and when considering recommending this iPad app, you should know that the filters are kick ass, the amount of adjustments you can make are extensive, and editing your photo is simply fun. Though I hope they'll still make UI tweaks and step up to the plate with layers in the future, it's a low price to pay with a lot of benefit. Download Photogene for the iPad. And who knows what's to come with iPad 2? If it has a camera built in, wow, this app is going to get a lot more use from me. Again, I'm Stephanie, and if you have any questions or comments for me, you can find me personally on Twitter at Merrily, or you can contact App Judgment on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or our home on revisionjoy.com. Thanks for watching.